Hi there, and thank you for tuning in to this uh, evening's report. We're doing a new beer review. Thank you for checking it out. Okay, so this one's pretty interesting. It's called Kokanee. Uh, Kokanee. This beer is, uh, it features mountains on the front, and it says Glacier Fresh Beer. So on Wikipedia it says, Kokanee is a beer brewed at the Columbia Brewery in Creston, British Columbia. Columbia Brewery began brewing Kokanee Lager, this is a lager, in 1959 and was purchased by the Labatt Brewing Company in 1974. Labatt Brewing is now part of the new company Anheuser-Busch and Bev, which is, okay. So Kokanee is a Pilsner style lager with 5% alcohol and is British Columbia's best selling lager. Kokanee beer is aged naturally and has a relatively mild taste. A light beer, it is most commonly found in the western provinces of Canada and the Pacific Northwest states of the USA, with sparse distribution in eastern provinces and states. It was made available in the province of Newfoundland and Labrador recently. The Columbia Brewery also brews Kokanee Gold with a fuller body and a 5.3% alcohol content. Kokanee Light in Kootenai Trail. Okay, so it uses three varieties of malt in a blend of western grown North American hops. Uh, it started life as a niche brand by attempting to appeal with only radio ads to the residents of the interior of British Columbia with the slogan brewed right in the Kootenays. Um, yeah, it goes on to talk about the history of the beer. It's been featured in some pretty, like, funny cart or commercials. They use, like, Sasquatch and Bigfoot. Um, it's been featured in some movies. Kokanee is also a name for a landlocked sockeye, sockeye salmon. The beer is named after the Kokanee Glacier in the Kootenay region in which Creston is situated. Nice. Okay, so the picture on the label consists of the mount known as Grace Peak in Kokanee Glacier Provincial Park, British Columbia. Okay, so neat. So, this is a tall boy, or like king size tall boy of it. It's 740 milliliters. I got this at a uh, local store here. Actually, it wasn't a local store, it's like a chain um, grocery store, liquor store. Um. I didn't know much about Kokanee's history. I only have one good friend and who drinks it regularly. His whole family drinks it and they love it. And I've never really given it a try. This is my first time actually having a Kokanee. Ever. So I'm excited to give it a try. Not much head on that. The smell is pleasant. It's crisp, refreshing. How's, what are you guys up to this weekend? Comment down below, what are you guys drinking? What are you guys eating? I'm always excited to hear. So this is Kokanee. Yeah, my one of my good friends Kyle, he drinks this. This is like his go-to beer. I can see why. It's really, really good. This is a Pilsner style lager. It's five point eight uh five percent. It's been brewed since nineteen fifty nine. Um Let's go up here. Yeah, they said it's um three varieties of malt and I can taste there's there's a good malt taste here and a blend of western grown North American hops awesome no this tastes like a very familiar this tastes like a very friendly like approachable beer it's like hey man how's it going and I recommend getting it in a bottle to try a draft but if you only have the option to get canned these are good I don't mind them and the can design is neat 
like it said, it has the glacier and the mountains on there. So that's pretty interesting can design. They have been featured in commercials that are quite humorous. I remember seeing some where it's really, really funny. So if you ever want to check out something funny, Google Kokanee commercials. Also check out for old commercials, Olympia, I think it is. And maybe Rainier, like they have hilarious commercials from the 80s. This is pleasant. This is almost like a step above, like, you know, your typical everyday Pilsner. I think this is, like, solid. This is a really nice Pilsner. The head dissipated quickly. That's one thing. Flavor-wise, it's, it's delicious. I think the flavor on this is amazing. Um... It's really interesting to read the history of this beer, though. They've had a lot of different owners and a lot of different, like, they've tried a lot of different marketing campaigns to get it big. Um, I would say, like I said, I only know one person that drinks this, but it is a big beer in Western Canada. Like, you see this a lot, and, like, not every beer is going to have marketing, but you see this marketed more than others. It's... It's popular, but it doesn't sponsor, like, a sports team or anything, but it's big. And if you ask, like, people in their 20s and stuff if they drink kokanee, yeah, they do. People in their 20s still drink kokanee. Way more than I would, like, it'd be way harder for me to find someone, I think, who drinks Labatt Blue in their 20s than this. Kokanee's, yeah. A lot of times you see people drinking it in bottles, though. Um, not so much this, but this is good if you're at the lake or if you're at the air, if you're camping, you know. You're out in the woods or whatever at the lake. And that's where you get that. Um, yeah, I'm playing a fun World War II video game right now. Uh, kind of working on a few different projects. Um... Yeah, they say how it has the kokanee gold with the fuller body, and it's a 5.3% alcohol beer. That's a beer I've seen at the store, and it's only sold in bottles, and I'm planning to try that too one day. That that one looks really good. It's a little pricey, though. It's like, it's like $30 for like 12 bottles or so, so. But yeah, no, um, this is a very, very solid beer. It's, it's, uh, it's gonna be... Uh, this is definitely, like, a, this is an 89 out of 100. This is a solid B+. Plus. It's on that A range. It's, it's, it's solid. It is super solid. If you ever have the chance and you've never had it, this is coming from someone who's just tried it, never had it, please give Kokanee a shot. It is a good beer, and... It's a Pilsner Lager. It's 5%. You're going to enjoy it. Like I said, what are you guys doing this weekend? Comment down below. Also, if you have any suggestions for beers to review, our food, etc., comment below. Thanks again.